Yes, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to check enter year as leap year or not a leap year. So, at your first, I am going to take integer tag variable the name year and hereafter console cross dot right line method and here let's write in double code enter year. And here after year equal to int dot parse console dot red line. So console dot red line that require and here after let's use if statement. So about the if statement I already discussed in my one video at the detail way. So add a year mod. Year mod double equal to zero and hereafter let's use and operator next condition is year mod 100 not equal to zero and here after or operator and here year mod 400 double equal to 0 so this is the condition to check enter year is the leap year or not now here after let's use console cross dot right line method so if that condition is satisfied then year is the leap year so add your leap year And here concatenating the leap year with year. Now, if that condition is not true, so that go to the else part and your console cross dot right line method and you're going to print not a leap year. And you are concatenating with year variable. So let's execute and check. So at here, if I uh, enter the year, so I'm going to enter 1600. So at here, it's a display leap year. Uh, because this condition is satisfied. Suppose if I enter next time, next time I'm going to enter the year at here 1700. So this is a not a leap year. Suppose if I'm going to enter 19 at here 2019. So 2019 is not a Leap year, but suppose if I enter at here 2016, so 2016 is the leap year. So at here it's a displaying leap year. I'm going to discuss about the steps of execution of this program. So at here this code I pasted here. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here after that go inside. So at here I've taken integer type variable. The name is year. So add here the variable name year and here after uh, console year equal to in dot parts console dot red line. So whatever I enter so that's a set into a string format and applying int dot pass so that a string convert into integer and that will go to the year. So add here I'm going to enter 2016. 2016 I'm going to enter now here after control comes to if statement so add here year mod 4 so if you divide add here or uh, 4 2016 so it divide by add here first going to take two digits so add here it divide by five times it will come 20 
Now here after one, let's give zero and here sixteen. So six and here it or the sixteen divided by four times. So sixteen divided by four times. So and here six minus six and one minus one that is zero. So this value is zero and here this value is zero. Now here after so it divide by so at here this value is now zero. So if you are going to use remainder, so mod operator that return or remainder values. So if you are going to use mod operator, so this is the mod operator. So mod operator that return zero. So at here this is a zero. So this condition at here it's a true. So this condition it's true. Now here after I'm going to use and operator. And here year mod to 100 not equal to 0. So add here this condition is 100. So I'm going to divide by 100 to 1000 or 16. So first to that to or if you divide then here if you divide 20 so if you multiply 2 and here triple 0 so it the value come 2000 and here to extend 1 here this value is 0 0 minus 0 2 minus 2 0 so value come add here 16 so 16 value come so add here if you divide year 2016 mod to 100 not equal to 0 so 16 not equal to 0 so this condition is true because mod operator that return remain true so this condition also true and here after year mod for or 400 so add here if you are going to divide by 400 so add here this divide by or oh, 5 times so it divide by 5 times then here the value come 2000 right so it divide by 5 terms and value come 2000 so 2000 come and here or uh, 6 minus 0 6 and here 1 minus 0 1 so remainder come add here 16 so year mod of 400 that equal to 0 so here 400 if i divide 2000 uh, for 2016 by 400 so add here it will return 16 so mod operator that return remainder so remainder add here return 16 so this condition add here 16 double equal to 0 so this condition add here false false and here uh, this is the truth table of and and all operator so if the value is if you are using and operator if both are true then return true and here if any condition is false so this return false and if you are going to use all operator, so if or uh, if any condition is true, so it return true. And here, if both condition is false, then that return false. So and here, or uh, if you are applying false and true, the value come true. Okay. And here, and operator, this is a true. So true and true, the value come true. So resultant, it's come and here overall. Overall resultant it come true. So overall that return true. So hereafter if the condition if condition is true that coincide at your console dot right now this print leap year and the value that I enter 2016 that print. So leap year 2016. Suppose if I enter at your 2019. 2019. So if you divide at your or 2000 year and you are going to divide or uh, 2019 by 4 so it divide by 5 times 20 here after 0 and going to take 1 and here 0 19 so uh, 4 so it, if I divide 4 to 19 so it divide by 16 times and here remainder that return 0 so remainder at here return 3 sorry 9 minus 6 the value come 3 so 3 double equal to 0 condition at here false and here it divide by if I am going to divide here mod at here 100 so 
तो 2019 मॉड और 2019 मॉड 100 सो दिस वैल्यू आल्सो कम एट योर फॉल्स राइट सो दिस कंडीशन आल्सो फॉल्स एंड आफ्टर ईयर मॉड और 400 सो 2019 मॉड मॉड 400 सो इट दिस आल्सो रिटर्न फॉल्स सो दे आर ऑल फॉल्स सो दैट विल कम्स टू दिस पॉइंट एट योर कंसोल डॉट राइट नाउ or not a leap year that print right so this is the way the program that execute and this is the most important operator and an or operator so this operator used in many program so uh, keep in mind if you are using and operator if both condition is true then that return true if any condition is false so it all false or operator if both condition is true if both condition is false then that return false if any condition is true then that return true so next time you should try to enter add your or 2018 and do the same try and method so you definitely get the expected output and here there is one important thing is mod operator so mod operator that return remainder so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.